A study suggests that men using drugs for erectile dysfunction, such as Viagra, may potentially reduce their risk of Alzheimer's disease. Examining over 260,000 men, the research found that those taking these drugs had an 18% lower likelihood of developing dementia. However, further research is necessary to establish a causal relationship between the drugs and the observed effect. Recent advancements in Alzheimer's drugs, targeting beta amyloid buildup in the brain, have shown promise in slowing disease progression. While exploring new treatments, Scientists are also investigating existing medications that might prevent or delay Alzheimer's onset. Originally designed for conditions like high blood pressure and angina, drugs like Viagra impact cell signaling messengers linked to memory. Animal studies suggest potential protective effects on the brain. The neurology study from University College London analyzed prescription records of men with erectile dysfunction. Over five years, the group prescribed these drugs had 8.1 Alzheimer's cases per 10,000 person years, compared to 9.7 cases in the non-prescribed group. Those with more prescriptions exhibited a lower Alzheimer's risk, indicating potential benefits from regular drug use. The study doesn't conclusively prove the drugs reduce Alzheimer's risk but suggests a promising avenue for further research. Lead author Dr. Ruth Brower emphasizes the need for additional studies to understand potential benefits and optimal dosage. The researchers plan to conduct trials in women to assess any impact of the drug on Alzheimer's risk. Adjusting for factors like age, health conditions, medications, and smoking, the study provides compelling evidence for future exploration. Professor Tara Spires Jones, from the University of Edinburgh, notes that the study doesn't conclusively prove the link but supports the drug's worth for future investigation. Dr. Francesco Tamagnini, a neurophysiologist at the University of Reading, commends the study but emphasizes the need for more evidence on how the drug affects the brain, considering therapeutic effects and increased blood flow hypotheses.